your food. Welcome to the max. Uh, today is going to be uh, a rather beautiful day. It's supposed to rain, but it's just overcast. It's absolutely beautiful out here. It feels about 55, 60, so absolutely gorgeous day. Uh, if you hear the cows, we're fixing to move them, get them taken care of, get them to a, a greener pasture. They have kind of worn out their welcome on the one they're on now. But they're gonna be moving to this one just to kind of give them a break from some hay and also get them grazing just for the next few days before we move them again back into a place where we can feed them hay. So we're gonna move them today. Uh, we also just have some maintenance to do. Some of the silage tarps have blown off, so we've got to replace those. We're also gonna put some more silage tarp on the old pea bed that we've been talking about for like five videos. We're actually gonna do it today. <laughs> so, so we've got to get that done. Uh, and then we, we've got to put some more rock in the dairy stanchion. It just gets kind of nasty after a while after she comes in and use the restroom we can only clean it so much since it's rot we are going to be putting some quick creek down after uh actually right after i built tomorrow just so it dries before the next day we're gonna put some quick creek right under where uh where she's at just so we don't have a mess where you know we lose the milk because she knocks off the milker or use the restroom it splatters everywhere i think the concrete will help keep it a little bit cleaner but we gotta put some rock there to kind of prep for that tomorrow but uh let's get them moved and then we'll go about their day move but look at it They've already moved their self all the way to the grass um, without even kind of going through this paddock, walking the fence. So they've learned a good rotation, a good routine. And um, again, that's what's so good. Not that you don't have a wild cow, not that they're not livestock, but when they learn their rotation, learn what they're supposed to do, it sure makes it easier on me because I don't have to spend as much time trying to run them into where they're supposed to go. They just go. So it does make it a lot better. All right, as y'all remember, Every time we move our cows, we try to kind of get them some deworming. We try to make sure they're taken care of. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to let them graze. Here's their water bucket, but we're not going to fill it up yet. We want them to graze, eat what they want. Actually, I'm going to put out some hay, put a new little protein block out here. And what it'll do, we'll make them want thirst. So then we'll be able to put the, the apple cider vinegar and also the Shake Leaves H2 in their water as more of a natural dewormer. Also a good boost uh, for gut health for them for the apple cider vinegar. So if I make them want the water, they'll drink it no matter what. And that's gonna be their only water source in this uh, this field. So we're gonna let them eat for a little bit. We'll fill that up, put the apple cider vinegar in it. Also the Shakely's H2 and I'll get them taken care of. And that way we just know they're getting a good, good, healthy, balanced diet. Even when, you know, it's wet, nasty, not as much to eat just because it's this winter time. As we get ready to fill their water up, we've got the, the other silage tarp roll. It's um this one's from Farm Plastic Supply. I buy mine on Amazon because uh, it tends to be the same price. I get it in two days and uh, just makes it easy. Um, so we're gonna go and roll this out. This is a six meal uh, silage tarp just like we've used before. Uh, you can see these have held up so great. Now you see that little open spot right there? That's just where the wind blew it. We've gotta just come back in and put some more boards there. Uh, we've had a real bad storm the last few days. So uh, we'll put that back, but there's been no holes in it. And again, it's been through some pretty good weather and, and good frost, but no issues whatsoever. Been very pleased with that. But we're gonna go ahead and get this section done right here. You see how those peas, of course, when they got burned, we did some drop and drop, so now we just need to get it covered so that grass won't make home there. Uh, you see the greens are doing phenomenal. We've been eating them. Man, just so good. Eating them at an immature size is the best way to eat collards and mustards because the bitterness, the thickness, the hardness, it's not there. It's an excellent way to eat uh, greens. So let's get this open, get this cut, get this on this bed, and then we'll go back and fill their water up. You see the pretty graying grass that they're on over there? They're in. I would say hog heaven because that's an expression, but I guess they're in cow heaven. Yeah, 
you can see how thick it is this is rolled over twice just to help cut it but um this is a 20 by 100 and that's what i always buy because i can cut it and size it the way i want to but you see how thick it is it's very thick um which is good because it helps you keep the quality of this material and this plastic for years to come it doesn't just last one season like you would if you bought a cheaper two or three or four mil uh this six mil is perfect it's not too thick oh you see how nasty i am excuse me um a 10 mil i've seen some industrial size 10 mils uh, again for what kind of farming we're doing we don't need to spend that kind of money to try to get a 10 mil because the six mil does everything we want it to do so uh, again we're going to go ahead and get it cut place it over there that way some of that grass you start seeing some of that winter just looks like old clover and random rye just stuff growing i need to go and get it covered up uh, that's a good cover crop so again what we'll do is cover it up and that'll help just make the ground even more enriched for next year you can see we use silage tarps over here we did not use them right here too much um, other than about you know two or three weeks so there's some grass still growing remember silage tarps and even the flamethrower we use none of those things are weed killers um, but again because we're organic we're not trying to use weed killers but we're using it as a weed suppressor um, so again you will still always have to weed especially in the spring but the silage tarps and the flamethrower that we've used and again we'll link those below they make a huge difference done got the new silence tarps on this section got my greens beds right here got all that covered there recover excuse me so I, I filled in a few little spots where the water had just sunk it it made it pull it tight and pull it away from there so i want to make sure it's all covered because if we allow light and air and wind and seed and everything else to hit that area we've served no purpose of putting this old silage tarp down so a lot of work but it's definitely worth it all right, you remember our raised beds. Look at look at how pretty these are now. That's after three days. We put the, the fertilizer, the organic fertilizer. Well, here's the kicker. We put fish emulsion on it too. And man, this stuff is just growing. Look at that spinach. It's huge. I mean, it's easily ready to harvest and eat. We've got our broccoli over here doing well. This is some greens. All doing very, very good after we did that. Uh, we, again, don't have much growing over here, but what's growing is growing really well. And I, I really say it's because of the fish emulsion. So if you're not using fish emulsion, it really is a good way to fertilize. Make sure you're buying as, you know, as, as much of a natural fish emulsion as you can. Um, but I've been very pleased with how this is just blown up. And really after a major frost two nights ago, I forgot to cover them because I didn't know it was gonna frost. And then all of a sudden they have really, really done well. So I'm uh, very pleased with them. And like I said, I'm hoping to, as we're eating the greens, I'm hoping to have this stuff pretty soon and also the lettuce pretty soon. So. Uh, very pleased though with what the fish emulsion has done. Uh, got the shakelys, got the apple cider vinegar. We're gonna wrap up taking care of the cows and uh, finish up on the chickens and we will be finished for the day. We're getting them we're going to take them to the permaculture chicken area uh this is one of our older hens it's my favorite i love bar drops but um we're going to get her over there right. it took me like 40 minutes to catch these chickens so we're going to go with the 12 we caught versus the 20 something that's still over there or probably at least another uh, 15 or so that's still over there because we had about 30 or so not counting the bachelor pad and not counting uh, the meat birds so we're going to go with these a lot of these are our older hens i did catch two or three of the little 
uh, like this one here she's only about a year old um, and then there's one more it's about a year old all the rest of them are, are my older hens uh, I didn't necessarily care to have them but hey I caught them so we're gonna put them over here there's a laying box over here so hopefully they'll keep on laying now uh, I've stressed them out so you know chickens are moody they tend to not uh, if they get moody or change your feed or change their location sometimes they won't lay so hopefully uh, the ones that are laying will keep on laying but really their whole purpose here is not really laying it's you know making this patch of ground more soluble and more um, usable for our garden so we're going to get them moved in here get the charger on there i know we have been talking about putting that silage tarp down and also getting these chickens in this net for like weeks so we're actually getting it done today um i'm not a procrastinator so these two things have stressed me out not getting them done but i'm glad to get them done glad that you got to see them get done and uh we're gonna finish up and end this video so thank you again for watching if you are a max follower thank you again keep on watching and and uh, we thank you so much we thank you for commenting uh we get to know some of you and we feel like your family already so thank you again for watching if you are a return guest if you are new to our channel um our goal is to always represent Christ in our uh, homestead and farm and also show a way that we can be sustainable, have satisfaction through that, and we believe that's the stewardship that God gives us. So we hope that you'll come back, watch, subscribe, ring the bell, and have fun with the Max. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you, and catch us on the next one. Happy homesteading, y'all.